Hello everybody, World Breed Gamer here. You guys are probably... You might be wondering what's going on. Well, from the last video you, you've seen, uh, I was just exiting Rusty Bucket Bay. And I actually had the whole game uh, recorded and finished and everything. That's on my other hard drive, and I figured that I'd rather redo it anyways. This would be more trouble to go, go back and get all that footage. So, as you can see, this is my f file from Let's Play, which is 100% completion. And, uh, what I decided to do is play through the entire game again on this file over here. As, as you can see, I finished everything all the way up to, uh, the last world of the game, pretty much, and then the ending. So. What's going on outside? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get started. Um, first things first, we need to get back up to, uh, the room where we last left off, which is the entrance to Rusty Bucket Bay. It's been a while for me. So glad I finally have a computer that can handle recording this kind of thing. And I can finally get this Let's Play done. I like leaving projects unfinished unless I decide to cancel them and I really didn't want to cancel this project. So we're going to warp over here. We are going to go up here and warp to the correct room. What we have to do right now is we have uh, we have a jiggy to pick up from uh, hitting the witch switch in a uh, rusty bucket bay, and we have a uh, one more Cheeto to let's find a Cheeto the spell book one more time. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, so that's the exit to rusty bucket bay. So. Starting from here, this is exactly where I would have left off anyway. Now let's see, is it this way to the Jiggy? I think this is where you unlock. Okay, I just played Rusty Bucket. Yeah, that's it. I want to go this way. What we need to do is, uh, well, first off, there should be a cave. See that right there? That's where we find Cheeto. How do we get there? Well, there's a switch we have to hit. To raise the water level one more time, although it only raises the water level for for a short time, maybe like a minute. And that switches over in this direction. We need to go up here. Hopefully, I'm not leaving it out anything that you guys might have missed. Here's the ace jiggy from uh, Granty's Lair. So let's see, just to show you guys. Just not that way. Well, yeah, we we got all the we got everything from all these areas. I don't know if my times are any better than uh my let's play. Yep. And then unfortunately, the other thing is I did get all the stop and swap items because I recorded that too. I will still show you the locations where the stop and swap items are, but unfortunately, they no longer they're no longer there. Which makes me kind of sad, because I was hoping to show you guys the actual items. Anyways, this, this one, switch when we hit it, will raise the water level. Of course, some of you might have seen the part one. Oh, you only have 30 seconds, I forgot. Got to dive down here. Let's hope I do it right this time. So I actually had to cut out some footage. Last uh, my last uh, attempt, I remember. It's up and to the right. It's not that one. There we go. And there's Cheeto up there. Baronberg getting good at finding Cheeto, so another spell they shall have. A trader book has pushed its luck, so in the burning fire I'll chuck. Find you to which won't. Cody must enter on Sangasa floor, and treasure trove is gold feathers. Okay, so we have all three of the Chio spells. And uh, before we enter the final world, I think we're going to go and uh, type those in, because they'll be useful. Oh, it's been a while since we've been here. Alright, so we go this way. What do you have? I already got you your gold. 
I wonder what happens if you get his gold for him the second time, even though they already have the Jiggy reward. I don't really need to find out. There's Leaky. Leaky passed up. Now empty watch for a bear. For some reason, I always found it funny that the, uh, the little water mine guy, whatever you call him, explodes there. Alright, now we have three cheats to enter. Let's take, this may take a while, so this might, part of my set, so at least speed up. If I know how, if I figure how to do that with the program. Anyways, I type in. Two hundred eggs are now yours. Now two hundred is maximum too. That lousy cheat for extra eggs won't help bear and chicken legs. Actually, it will. Bear and bird get one hundred red feathers. One hundred maximum now is. All my feathers, it makes me sick. Fly to me, your butt I'll kick. Okay, one more cheat. Twenty gold feathers you get. New maximum twenty is. Gold feathers, you may have twenty. But bruises, you'll still ha get plenty. Okay, so we're done with this. Now it's time to actually... Actually, we need to come back here to this area anyway. Since uh, this is where I unlocked the final world. Not this... Not in Treasure Trove, but uh, near it. Except I can't unlock quite. I have to hit a switch first. Okay, so... Here's the plan. We're going to go back to unlock the last area. We'll have a nice shortcut back here once we do do that. We want to take two uh, warp cauldrons. Anyway, so we go this way. All I have to do is jump on here, climb our way up, and get to this note door. we got more than enough to enter. This leads to the final area of the game. A lot of uh, whiplashes, I think these are, these are called. Let's have a different name for this version of them. Now the whiplashes are the ones that you see in a. Uh, make use of all these eggs you've got now. I could just use the invincibility wings um, to get through here, but I'd rather save the gold feathers since they're a bit more rare. I'm never going to run out of eggs, so I have 200. Excuse me. If in this area, standing underneath this leaf is a safe area from the bull. Right, that we're not going to open up yet because we. I don't have to go to that place yet. What we are going to do is move over here. Keep going. I forget where that leaves. Um, hit this switch. And. We get the. <coughs> we can now complete the puzzle. To the final world of the game. I'm really curious as to where that leads, but first I need to unlock this uh, cauldron here. Ooh, there's something down here, huh? This cauldron leads all the way back to this area. Sewers so near a. Uh... Okay, let's just take it. It's all the way back to here. It's just where I need to go. Now, those of you who haven't played this game are probably wondering where the where that was, where the last uh, puzzle is. It's right down here, right next to uh, Clanker's Cavern and um, Treasure Trove Cove. This is by although this is a pretty challenging world, this is by far my favorite world. 
By the way, we're gonna have to disregard all the, uh, all of Brentilla's advice in the last place since I had to do a new playthrough and it's all it's randomized every time. So let's see what she has to say. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at Witch School. I also know that sweaty gorilla feet is her favorite smell. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Ah, uh, Grunty's, there's no end to your charms. Anyways. Here we are, Click Clock Wood, my favorite world. It's not an easy world, it's a very challenging, lengthy world, but it's definitely my favorite just because of the way they set it up. It's really nice. You'll see exactly what I mean momentarily. <laughs> 